Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And CA have announced the um, the Caesar and Goal um, expansion for Rome 2. And I ha actually, by here, I have the notes for what is officially going to be in this expansion pack. Now I'm going to continue on from yesterday's video. Yesterday I announced the leak. Today it's come forward. So I have some details I'd like to share with you. So basically, Caesar and Goal is a standalone expansion for Total War Rome 2. Uh, you cover Julius Caesar's war against the Gaulish tribes. Players can choose from four playable factions in this conflict. You can play as the Averni, which are already in the game. You can play as the Swaby, which are already in the game. And you can play as the Belgic Nervii, which are not a playable faction at the moment, but they are for this. Um, and the whole faction pack is inspired by Caesar's Gallic Wars in Gaul. Um, there will be a a zoomed in map like you'd expect for most expansions in Total War. We had the Peninsula War in Napoleon, so it'd be something similar to that I imagine. Um, new campaign map is going to have 18 provinces dotted with resources, new settlements and new provincial capitals. So more settlements to conquer, more battles I, I assume. They, they said there's going to be a greater focus on characters, so we will have uh, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony other Roman generals from the time would we'll probably have Vercingetorix and other Gaulish uh, generals of the time that will be mentioned in history. So, no, that's pretty good, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. 24 turns per year, this is a big one. 24 years, 24 turns per year. Um, it'd be a time scale of 58 BC to 51 BC. So, that's great because you can now have a general and take them all the way through the campaign without having to worry about them dying at old age after like six turns so that's fantastic news as far as I'm concerned um, it's going to be multiplayer focused and this is a big one for some of you guys some of you guys that love multiplayer um, for those generals looking for a more rapid multiplayer campaign Caesar and Gaul presents a series of interesting options due to the geographic scope and the opposing 48 factions co-op or competitive two-player campaigns are tighter more focused and less time consuming than a full campaign. Now what I imagine with the time consuming part is because you're focused on a singular area such as Gaul, all those other factions in the game will won't be in the campaign at all. It'll be completely wiped. They're gonna be focusing on the what is it? Forty eight? Forty eight factions rather than hundred and seventeen, I believe. So that's pretty good. Pretty good news for those of you that like multiplayer. Um new mid game mechanics, so is going to be a replacement for civil war basically. As a Gallic tribe, you'll feel the male fist of Rome respond with heavy intervention forces, and as Rome, you'll see the Gallic tribes rebelling and forming alliances against you. Is this really a new feature? I don't think so. Um, we've already got civil war, and we've already got the confederation, join the confederation option in the diplomacy. So, uh, a bit like that on, on, on that at the moment. It doesn't. It doesn't really add anything new to, as far as I'm concerned. This is a good one by your mind. New historical battle. So we have the Battle of Alicia. Very good um, battle to read about for those of you that don't know about it. Um, it's a playable historical battle. You play as Rome um, from Caesar's perspective. Um, basically it's a siege battle against Vercingetorix. The Romans were heavily outnumbered. Caesar had a great last stand, held the line, even marched to the front of the line and helped defend himself, uh, according to history. Um, so I'm very happy with that. Nice siege battle. And thank God, thank God, another historical battle. We've only got four. We've had four historical battles since the game's release. So that's something I'm, I'm happy about, something which I find positive. And then we get to the new playable factions. So this is a big one. We have uh, three new playable factions. Um to the main game. That is the Nervii. They are a barbarian tribe and they are Belgic. They are most fierce, powerful of the Belgic tribes. They are a melting pot of Celtic and Germanic heritage. Their unit roster reflects this mixture of cultures, opening the possibility of creating new, unique army compositions. Fair enough. The Boyai, I think you pronounce it Boyai or Boy. I go with Boyai. Um, one of the largest of the Gallic tribes, they occupy Cisalpine Gaul, Pannonia, Bohemia and Transalpine Gaul. The numbers make them a force to be reckoned with, but they are somewhat disconnected from other Gallic tribes geographically and are directly exposed to the ferocious Germanic clans and the Dacians. Interesting. Um, and the Galatians. They're the third one. They're 
focus more to the east, Anatolia, modern day Turkey. Um, now they, it says they arrived through Thrace at around 270 BC, led by generals Lotorius and Leonorus. As Celts deep within Hellenic territory and factions hostile towards them, the Galatians offer interesting and challenging new gameplay. So, it's pretty interesting stuff. New historical battles, three new playable factions for the main campaign. It's always great to have more playable factions to experience the game from a different perspective as well. Um, I have got two other sheets by you. I don't think I'll bother reading them out. Um, you can actually view this on the Total War forum, so I'll leave a link in the description for you to look at it. This last piece only goes on about the units anyway, some new units they've added. But I'll leave that there. So let me know what you guys think about this. Are you going to play this expansion? Are you going to get this expansion? Now that is the one thing. I'd like to finish the video on this one note. They haven't announced a release date and they haven't announced a price. Now, I don't want to be paying an awful lot of money for this. This game is still being patched. We're only three months after release. You know, it, it's not on, is it? As far as I'm concerned, it's not on. So let me know what you guys think. Will you be buying this? How much are you willing to spend on this? And do you think you'll enjoy it? So let me know. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of the new campaign. Until next time, goodbye.